Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my October favorites. I did not do a September favorites last month, so this month I am making it up to you guys. So yes, this year has been so crazy considering the Next Face Awards, I me mean, moving to LA, which by the way, I still feel like I need to clarify that I still have my beauty room back in Orlando at my parents' home. I will be there for my birthday this month. My birthday is November 11th, where my Scorpio is at. Woo -woo. Yes! So, where shall I begin? Um, we are almost at 500,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Once I hit 500,000, I will be having a meetup in Orlando, Florida. So, um, tell your friends to subscribe. Um, yes, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I am rocking some plaid for fall today and a dark red lip and some Arabic inspired eye makeup. Do you guys like it? Do you guys want a tutorial? Let me know. Alright, so the first favorite of the month is going to be my apartment. I absolutely love it. I'm here in LA. So far I just have a bed and a dining table, but I will be starting a decorating series tour. I don't think I'm gonna do a bedroom decorating episode because I think I'm just gonna do a bedroom tour later on once I'm fully finished and furnished. But as far as the living room and the kitchen and maybe the bathroom, I will do one for that. But for now, let's jump right into the favorites. I feel so out of place because I'm not at home, but we're going to make it work. I feel so vampy today. Do you think I look vampy? Okay, you guys. You guys, if you guys have been watching me for quite some time or if you are new to my channel and have found me through a recent collaboration, maybe Hocus Pocus or something of that nature, um, you guys know that I love my air spun powder. I love this powder and I have been obsessed with it. I noticed how much I love this in the months of September and October when it was missing. I was like in the search on the hunt for this powder everywhere and I found it at like CVS and I stocked up on them. And the one that I use is the translucent extra coverage. I just want to say that this powder is everything. It is heaven sent. When you use this product, I just want to clarify in the favorites that this is my favorite and it could be your favorite too if you use it properly, that you should use this with another powder, like a face colored powder. Um, for women of color, I wanted to introduce you guys to a new favorite of mine that I haven't had on my channel, but I have been using is the Sasha Cosmetics Setting Powder. This is amazing. As you can see, this one is like a white a translucent color and this has a little bit of tint to it. So this powder is amazing for women of color. As you guys know, I have a, a black girlfriend. Her name is Candace. Candace she is of a rich chocolate tone and she is the perfect candidate for this type of powder. I have used this on her, but I've had to layer on another, not layer, but dust off another powder. But the Sasha Cosmetics um, powder, the buttercup color, is the perfect tint of yellow for women of color so you don't look ashy if you're not used to using a lot of product. So this will tint the eyes and give you that golden highlight color and it's very, very lightweight and it's thin and it's amazing and it's a loose powder as well. So I would prefer to apply this with a powder puff. And you guys should check out Sasha Cosmetics. I'm wearing their lipstick, by the way, which has been my favorite too. Where is it at? Read My Lips is the color. It is a very rich matte color, but I applied some gloss because I was trying to be sexy today. It's a very pigmented color. It's called Read My Lips by Sasha amazing amazing colors and this is great for women of color too i use these these two products on candace all the time here's a photo of her but yeah check out sasha cosmetics because they're amazing but lately i've also been obsessed with my skin my skin routine my regimen has been improving i used to just cake on makeup but in prepping and priming the skin i find that it's really important to prime and to moisturize so i'm gonna go into skincare and maybe you guys can try these out get some samples at a store near you and test them out for yourself because in regards to makeup makeup is universal like there are different colors and things you can do with makeup but when it comes to skin skin is so personalized so i thought if i share my personal skin regimen and favorites with you guys you can try these out and see if it works for you but first off i'm going to start with moisturizer and eye cream benefit 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 i don't know what it is it is so dense it's called um, total Moisture Facial Cream. A lot of girls that are oily are like, no, I don't need a moisturizer because I'm already so oily. I've said this before, I'll say it again, like, your body's going to want to produce more oil if your skin, if your body thinks that it's dry. 
that's how our body chemistry works. It tries to balance out our oils. So that's just how I think. So if you don't moisturize, your body's going to want to produce more oil because it thinks that it's dry or it's used to um, doing that. So I feel like if you're oily and you moisturize daily, you will get um, less oily. And that's what I found with me too. I used to be so oily everywhere and then I would moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. And this one is amazing. It's great for nighttime. It feels rich. It smells really, really good. It smells so good. Like, it smells so good. Um, this next one is the um, It's Potent Benefit Eye Cream. The eye cream is amazing too. I've been obsessed with eye creams, especially since I don't sleep at night. But this is another favorite of mine, the eye cream. So just try these out. Benefit is amazing. Um, obsessed. So as far as the face goes, I have been obsessed with these primers together. I've noticed that these together have been amazing for my skin because it keeps me matte and it smooths out my skin. So I'll combine these two. This one is the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. Oh, I didn't know that. And it really helps me keep matte throughout the day. And I've noticed I haven't been breaking out. I just noticed. But yeah, also, since I do have porous skin, if you guys want to see me get one of my treatments done for my um, Clear and Brilliant at Laser Away, let me know because I've been getting a lot of questions on that. I did, in my last LA vlog, I did a laser treatment. It feels like a sunburn, but if you guys want more details on that too, then let me know. But I, the reason why I got that was because I have very porous skin. That's why I use a lot of powder to smooth out my texture. So this keeps me less oily and this keeps me smooth and this is the professional. So I'll take this one and I'll apply it in the center and then I'll work it out. And then this one, I will take a dollop of it and I will concentrate this on my cheeks. So I love these two together. You guys should try it out. Um, they both are sold at Sephora. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Speaking of the cheeks. Oh, okay. Since I have a smooth texture on my cheeks, I feel like I'm able to dress up the cheeks with blush and um, powder and contour without jeopardizing um, my texture being shown. So I have been loving this Urban Decay Naked Skin, what is this? Ultra Definition Loose Finishing Powder. This is so fine. It, it seems like it's like powdered sugar. It's like that very fluffy, fluffy, fluffy consistency. And it's so, so, so fluffy. And I feel like since it's so small and micronized and fluffy that it really sits on my skin really, really, really nicely. And it makes my skin super smooth. And I've been able to dress it up with um, blush. This blush, I have, I remember when I used to work at MAC, I was obsessed with peaches. And I no longer have that one. But this one is pretty damn close. This one is by Sasha too. It is called um, Orange Glow. So it's kind of like that peachy. It's not very orange to me. But you see, it is very, 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 very pretty. So yeah, I love this blush. And I love it because I feel like, for me, peachy tones go with anything. So it gives me that really natural flush look without looking too thin up. Because I feel like for my skin tone, if I were to put like a berry blush or a pink blush or something very pinky, this is just obviously a preference. Um... It will look so done up but since I have my eyes done and my lips done I decided to throw in a little bit of a like an amped up cup of color like an orange or like a peach which will make it really 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 cute oh I forgot to talk about foundation oh my god okay foundation I am obsessed with this I remember about two years ago I tried it when they first came out I don't know two three years I don't remember when it came out, but I remember I tried it and it was a little bit pink for me and then I wanted to go a little bit more yellow, but this is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation 24 Hour Wear. It is amazing for a for an on-the-go foundation if you want like a flawless finish. So if I'm on the go and I don't have time to prime, I know, I know it's bad, but we have those days where we just want to be out the door. I've had a couple of those days here and this foundation has been life-saving. I don't even conceal. It just really covers everything and it smooths out my skin. But imagine this with the Cover FX primer and the professional. Like this combination here is like amazing, amazing. Today I tried a different foundation. I'm wearing the Too Faced Born This Way. I just got it yesterday, so I'm just trying it out. But so far so good. But as far as a long-lasting foundation, this locket foundation is 
amazing. And I'm in the color medium 64. So if for inner reference, I'll list it down below, but in the color for Locket, I am medium 64, MAC I'm NC 45, in Makeup Forever I'm 170, 170. You guys, I have been obsessed with these mink lashes. So what I've been doing, just to kind of stretch the dollar on these lashes, I'll, I'll talk about this. I combine like individuals or like regular cheapy lashes, like drugstore lashes, like Ardell lashes with these. So the lashes that I'm obsessed with are New Bounce um, Bellas and Dragon Lee lashes. I'm wearing the Dragon Lee. So this is the Dragon Lee lashes. And I love them. They flare out on the end. They're really, really pretty. And the other ones that I'm obsessed with are the Bella Minx. I'll insert a picture right here. It's just straight up. Manny loves those. Um, he wears them all the time. And I was like, those look too small on me. So I actually wore the Bellas on the bottom of my eyes for my Cinderella costume here. And my lashes were huge. So that's a little drag trick if you want to make your lashes big. Use top lashes for the bottom. But these are the Dragon Lees. And I do have a discount code below. It's My code is pretty consistent online. If you want to save money, just enter P Star everywhere. Um, but yeah, I love New Balance and lashes. Oh, I was gonna say, New Balance is the only lash company that I know right now that um, gives 20% off. Oh my gosh! If you guys didn't know, I did a collab with Made You Look Lex. She sent me her um, Night Owl Precision Eyeliner Pen, but it's a black pen, and it's amazing. It's you can really do, like, it's so good. Like, you can really sign anything. It's, like, so black, and it doesn't move. And I used this today for, like, the little inner corner part. Do you see that? Do you see that precision? Yeah, I love this pen. It's great. I love using pens to go over the lash line in case my lash glue doesn't dry all the way or doesn't turn clear all the way. I love that. Her pen is bomb. You should check it out. Thank you, Lex, for sending that to me. Um, she's so, she is so talented. She's so talented. Speaking of talent, can we talk about, like, Kat Von D? Okay, so I was planning on meeting, um, the girls at Cheesecake Factory at The Grove. And the Sephora just opened at The Grove, right? So then, um, Manny was like, oh my god, there's one palette left, and I was like, I don't know if they do that, if, if y'all, if you guys work at Sephora, are y'all tricking people to buy the last one, y'all just put one out on display, is that, is that me, or is that like, a little marketing play, but either way, y'all got me, and I got this palette by Kat Von D. this is amazing, I am wearing the orange color in my crease, and I'm wearing like, Makeup Geek on my lid, um, grandstand which by the way I love I'll show you guys that in a second but let's talk about this palette this palette is every makeup artist dream I feel like you know sugar pill had that rainbow um, palette this is like the modern version this is amazing uh, amazing but let's like what do you want me to swatch this blue I wore this as Cinderella and many wore as Snow White this blue everything this orange everything this um, berry color. Are you kidding? Like, I don't know. I feel like I should have got this way before like October so I can do more looks. I'm obsessed with these purples here too. This purple is so cute. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see these colors? These colors are amazing and they're so pigmented. I love them so much. Kat Von D did an amazing job and she's so, she's so talented. She's so talented. So this is the double-ended Z palette. It's black and it's double-ended and it's thick and it will really protect all of your eyeshadows. I love this because right here I have my face powders and over here I have my eyeshadows. I will be taking this when I travel with me. But Grandstand and Starry Eyed are amazing. These are my last favorites, you guys. Like the Makeup Geek shadows. I love Starry Eyed and Grandstand. They're amazing shadows. Um, and this is the Z palette that I just said. I feel like for my my skin tone and um, darker, it's like so, so shiny and so 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 pretty. And it kind of matches my bed. Do you guys like my bed? My bed is <laughs> obsessed. Obsessed. This one is starry eyed, like the best bridal colors ever. 
I love them. Yeah, I love LA. LA has been fun. I just want to say I do miss my family a lot, but I just have something so exciting here in LA coming to you on my birthday. I, I don't know if I should say it now, but I do have something exciting coming up. So if you want to enter your email to find out what it is, it's it's exciting so I'm so excited to launch it November 11th and if you enter your email at patrickstarsurprise.com you will find out what it is and then I have something else surprising coming up next February it's just so exciting I wish I could just tell you guys I'm so excited everything will be listed down in the comment section below I love you guys so much let me know what you guys want to see next I just repeated myself all right, guys, and that concludes my favorites of October and September since I didn't do one last month. But tis the season for the Scorpios. My birthday is November 11th. If you guys are on the 11th as well or a Scorpio, holla back. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.